I believe and all of my colleagues believe that the research programs that we have are very strong. Each year we've moved up in the rankings by virtue of the amount of funding that we bring in. The nature of the research that we do grows every year. And I often say, well, we're well poised to be leaders in drug discovery and drug delivery, but we're not just poised anymore. We're there. We are the leaders. People look to us for the kind of work that we're doing here. We are a comprehensive research institution looking at cancer nanotechnology. The ultimate goal is to make sure that the drugs that we are trying to uh, get to patients are delivered in the appropriate way, uh, that they are only targeting disease cells and sparing healthy cells. When you look at all the different effort that has been taken to eradicate cancer and to contain cancer, it's been one of the most challenging diseases of our generation. I'm fascinated by the fact that we can take this information that we are gathering from the laboratory and from clinical studies and how we can apply them to patients, really make this a truly translational aspect. There's still a need in the community of people who are struggling on day-to-day -day monitoring with diabetes. Finger prick methods are not only somewhat invasive, but they're a single point in time. What we're trying to do is make a system that could be worn on board in a less invasive manner my lab makes novel nanosensors, which are small polymer spheres that fluoresce. What we do is take these sensors and embed them in the skin, a lot like a tattoo, and we can read the fluorescence level through the skin and monitor glucose, and we can use it as a tool for people with diabetes to measure their sugar levels. A lot of the research that some of my colleagues are doing is based on how can we get that drug to that particular site to do what we wanted to do, but to not hurt anything else. Once that product is developed, I'm dealing with it from more of a patient-centric focus, which is now in this patient sitting in front of me, I need to explain to them how this is gonna work, what it's gonna do, and what are some of the side effects and things to watch out for. Taking it from the bench all the way to the bedside with the patient. That's the continuum within medicine, and we're all just in different parts of that continuum. We are so well positioned right now to be the leaders by virtue of the kind of university we're in, the type of college that we're in, being in a very strong health sciences college with great emphasis on interprofessional learning. Uh, we've never been in a better position to shape the future.